hey guys welcome to yet another vlog from me and thank you for choosing to click here so today i want to share with you my every morning cleaning routine that is a routine that i follow every day and of course for us to start a day we must start with breakfast so i'm just going to be making tea sausage and some bajia so that we can have that and then start our day so kindly come along and i hope that you are going to stay till the end To cook the oil the sausage i'm just going to poke them with the knife so that they are not going to burst when they are cooked and again i'm not going to be defrying them i'm going to show you as we go along how we are going to be cooking i really like when my my sausage come out like like the the grilled sausage without soaking all that oil so first you're going to boil them so after i've drained the potatoes of the water next i'm going to make the mixture that you're going to be mixing the our our potatoes so that you can make bajia and so in the in the flour i'm just going to add onion powder some salt by the way i i have colors in the house but the funny thing is that i don't have yellow so i ended up adding just a bit of turmeric to take that glaze then i'm just going to add in some water that is basically how you make the coating for bajia if you have dania you can just go on and add in there and then instead of coating my potatoes with cornstarch last time it really messed up with my oil so i decided to add cornstarch to this mixture and trust you me it came out just perfect so this is what you're going to be using to coat our potatoes then deep fry But I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to be more than new. Rewind, take it out of cue. Innocence can be a young man's game. Stand up for the heart of shame. I wish I knew.
when it comes to this sausage i'm not going to defry them i just want to shadow fry them really low oil so that i just want to coat them with oil that just that nothing more just like that i really don't want all that oil getting in there i want them to come out like like it's a grilled sausage only that it has a bit of oil just the way they came out yeah perfect just like i wanted them to come out our breakfast was ready it was so yummy the minion one was my daughter's next let's get cleaning so these are things that i do on a daily basis yeah <laughs> the cleaning that i'm doing today is things that i must do each and every day by then this bed has a bed a headboard but the headboard is so big that if i kept them in this room that would mean that i will have to move that that bed so i decided to keep it away and let the the bed stay in place i like to be away my patient stay up i feel so outdated how can we look the other way sun is out but the sky is gray what would happen if i took a chance it's always hard at first glance i don't wanna but i know i gotta do it the truth is hard to swallow i think i'll chew it I change my sheets every time that I'm I'm doing laundry even if it's after 2 days I change my bed sheets so today I didn't feel like it but then I thought why not so I decided to change the sheets even though I was not going to be doing laundry and by the way this is how I make sure that my flat sheet sheets stay in place I put on notes on each and every on the four corners and then that bed sheet i don't even have to bother with it in the morning it becomes so flat so yani it's just in it stays in place in the morning i don't have to hustle as you said it was you saw the other one it was just still in place Let me take this chance to welcome all all my subscribers and the new subscribers thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to this channel i really appreciate you i don't take your time and your subscription for granted so thank you and may god bless you let me introduce myself my name is carol this is caroline's home i'm all about homemaking anything that has to do with the mom life baking cooking cleaning anything that has to do with a stay at home mom or sometime even a working mom because as a at some point i was a working mom so i share all those tips and hacks on how you can manage your home all those you're going to find them in this channel i'm a kenyan youtuber and i'm a mom of two yeah i'm a mom of two kids and a mom in a long distance marriage or is it a relationship <laughs> so to all those moms out there all dads who are taking care of their kids while their partners are hustling hugs to you guys i know it is not easy but we keep on pushing we have to let them hustle and take care of our homes and our children as we pray to god to bless them and to give us peace yeah and to keep us connected despite the distance yes because taking care of children especially when they come and they have to go back the first few weeks they are always hectic with the babies but as i said hugs we must keep on pushing
So next I just went on ahead to scrub my bathroom. I'm just using a scoring powder and then a multi-purpose soap. Yeah, that soap is this. It's a saver by the way. If you have never made a homemade soap, you are really missing out. And by the way, if you plan on cleaning, if you plan on cleaning your your walls or scrubbing, try using a scoring powder and you'll thank me later. So next I'm just going to pour in bicarbonate and then on my brushes and on the drainage this really helps to keep all the smells off. The bicarbonate will absorb the smells and the hot water will help to disinfect them and also unclog or even keep the smells away from the, the drainage system. I'm also going to do the same with my hand sink, bicarbonate and hot water. Then next I just went on. When it comes to cleaning I always start from the bottom from the top going to the bottom but when it comes to the bathroom i i do the other way around i finish up with the top because i tend to see that as you are cleaning the floor there's a lot of splashing so i don't see the need of wiping the walls first and then only for water to go back and again when i'm using this by the way i'm using maxwell bathroom cleaner when i use it i don't spray it on the walls i spray it on my microfiber cloth this really helps me to save on it because i'm not going to sprinkle a lot of it splashing where it is not even needed and then you end up spending a lot and at the end of it all my bathroom was clean and again the smell of that maxwell bathroom cleaner it's so amazing you can also spray it on the bathroom mats so that they can all be fresh you know yeah just keeping things fresh so yeah and the bathroom was all done. For my glasses and windows, I always mix, use the mixture of vinegar and water. It does magic. As you are looking at that mirror, you might think that 
it's going to leave streets but leave it for one minute it's going to dry and it is going to be perfect then i just went on and polished the sink with the same vinegar and water this really makes things amazing don't forget to change the hand towel i must change them daily especially with kids they they leave their hands with so much water and the towel is always wet so i must change it on a daily basis and again not forgetting these tiles on the sink we really tend to forget and also that space between the tiles and the walls yeah that must be wiped as you can see the mirror now you can see through it's all clean so i then went on ahead changed the water add a bit of add a bit of what is it called this <laughs> and then added a bit of fabric softener yes yes just for the sake of that cassette being left in the house and then just go, went on and wiped the floors so i went on ahead of camera i did the dishes that we had af after breakfast i packed the leftovers and polished the the cooker so now we are just going to be cleaning the floor only the money plant but then if you are looking for a house plant that you won't invest your time or even energy on try this plant I got this ball see i was looking for something like this but what i got was so expensive until i drifted this one i really love it so i want to use it as a planter
So I want to organize. Eh? Here, Nini. I think it looks better like this. It looks better in a bowl compared to that other container. So yeah, this is how now I'm going to be placing it on top of my countertop. That is how it used to look. I want to change that setup. So let's do it together. I don't know if it is going to come along, but let, let's just see. And that's my new that is how that area looks like i want to look for a sink candy or organizer but i think for now that that whatever is doing justice and i think it looks better than it was before yeah so let me know how you th what you think in the comment section did it really come out as i expected what do you think and just because homemaking it has to do with laundry and yeah so let's just finish up with this one and then we can call it a day let me know in this comment section what is it that i did that you don't do or you do or you do it differently kindly let us chat let us communicate so yeah thank you for being here thank you for always coming back as i said before i don't take your time for granted yes so thank you very much and i hope that i'm giving you a reason to subscribe if you have not subscribed i hope that i've given you motivation so that even if not today tomorrow you can just wake up and tackle that load or something that needs to be done i really hope i motivated somebody and i hope that with time i'm just going to keep on changing people's mentality on homemaking and as they adapt to different routines like i do so if you want to know anything about me or the routines that i've done kindly go back on my channel there's a lot there are hacks there are tips there are routines that i share a lot i have been going on so kindly go back check thank you very much may god bless you thank you for your time blessings and to my premier team you are the best <laughs>